of all, we don't even know what happened. Was it your fault? Cause you could be in a fight, angry, wailing, and all of this, and it really could have been you who started it. What up, Wagwan? It's saying it's your girl, Mina Adubia. Mina Adubia is the full name, okay? Mina, not Mina, not Mina, Mina. Mm -hmm. Me, nah. Me, nah means my mom in chi. All right, in this video, we are doing a story time. It's gonna be a little chatty. I wanna take take it back into time. Once upon a time when I was, I'm smiling, but at that time it was very, very traumatic. We're gonna get into all the details. Is my wig cricket? What's his name? Hold on. Uh-uh, uh-uh, we can't do this today. Uh-uh, mm -mm, please, hi. Mm -hmm. We gonna take it back into time, and I'm gonna talk about a story, story time of when I was stranded, and I had to sleep in a train station with my freak gum dress on, okay? It was a whole situation. So if you are interested in hearing this story, Grab something to drink on. Grab your makeup if you want to follow along with me. I'm not sure what look I'm doing. It's not going to be too wild because it's not about the look today. It's about the story, but we want to do something in the meantime as we listen, okay? Make sure you subscribe. Join my text community because it's free and you can join. Random giveaways always take place, so comment below. Give the video a thumbs up if at any point you are just laughing or just enjoying the video, all right? Now, I'm going to put my hair back with these duck clips. This wig I'll link below. I I curled it the way that it's curled. It didn't come this way. This wig needs to be washed, okay? First of all, we need to wash it, but okay. Let's talk about it and let me give you some context, okay? I am not referring to a train station here in Houston. I don't even, we don't even, do we even have a train station? Not the light rail, mm -mm. Not the light rail here in Houston, okay? I'm not from Houston, I'm from Rhode Island. I always have to slow down when I say that because it's Rhode Island. It's not Long Island, but when I say it fast, people automatically, automatically think of Elf Lock on Lip Primer. Long Island, it's like, no, I'm from Rhode Island. Long Island, that, like I'll be like, I'm from Rhode Island. They're like, New York? No, Rhode Island. Yes, the smallest state in the US. Yes, there are blacks there. Yes, there are African people there. Yes, that's where I'm from, hello. Oh, hi. hi. So what had happened? This this happened a long time ago, okay? This was a long, I'm gonna do a basic look today because y'all seem to like this look so much every single time. So I came here 11 years ago. I'm painting, the, I'm giving you the timeline. My lips are sticking together because that's what happens with this lip primer. And uh, this had to be like 15 years ago. It was close to when I was moving to Houston, like 16, 15 years ago, okay? No, 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 no. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter, okay? It was a long time ago. All right, and me and my girl had gone to the club in Boston. All right, we say Boston, okay? So we had gone to the club in Boston, and we went with her friend. So I, she, this, this is not my friend. This is Fenty Honey Setting Powder. I just needed something, and the honey one is what I have in front of me. And we had gone to the club with her friend. Now her friend drove, and I learned so many lessons at this time. We're gonna go through all the lessons as we go on this with the story. So her friend drove. Lesson number one: always take your own car, okay? And we were going to the club back in the day. So Go to the club, used to be up in the club, you know, just woke up, all of the things, right? Uh, lesson number two, don't go to the club. Like, what in the world? I'm too over that. Like, I'm not, I'm too mature, okay? Not old, I'm too seasoned for that kind of foolery. So that's number two, right? Go to the club, right? And she drives. Now, I know of the friend, but I don't know her like that, like that. This is my friend's friend, okay? I mean, I know of her and I thought she was cool. Like, it wasn't nothing, it wasn't no biggie. This is NARS Soft Matte Deep 3. And she drives and there's four of us. Yeah, there's four of us, okay? So the one person I know out of all four of us is one person, my friend. She's my childhood friend, okay? I know her very, 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 very well, okay? Um, lesson number three. <laughs> Uh, drive your own car, okay? Because I don't know these all these folks like that, like that, and we're gonna get into all of it. So we go to the club, the club is rowdy. I literally can still picture the face of the club right now in my mind, but I forget the name. It was in Boston now, okay? And it was cold outside at that time. But you know, we had our free gum dresses on because that's compulsory. No primer today, we just did the powder and that's it, right? The free gum dresses are compulsory at that time of the of my life. So, you know, we have, it's, it's, gonna, come in, it's gonna come into the, into the story so we're in a club and my my friend and i were together and then the other two women were like elsewhere you know how you meet up in a club and you just you know you, know, you migrate a little bit somebody might go over here you might go get a beverage come back whatever so for some reason my girlfriend and i were at the coat check because we had checked our coats and that just goes to tell you how cold it was at that time of year so we go to the coat because you know the club about to end and we're like yo let's go to the coat check where i'm literally envisioning the coach i can see myself in the club right now 
we literally were like, let's go to the coat check right now, get our coats, because the last thing we want, you know how you up in the club and it's time for checkout or when the club is done and you gotta go stand in line for coat check and the line's like an hour long, no ma'am, and people are drunk and acting, acting so stupid, so we go to the coat check. And all of a sudden, in the coat check, we hear a lot of ruckus. Now, the club is still going on, but after a while, the club had ended, so it was kind of like, not as loud. You know, you don't hear all the music like you normally would, but you, it's still rowdy. Like you still hear people talking and yelling and stuff, but we, it was definitive. It was very clear. We could hear yelling, screaming of some sort. And we're like, yo, what is going on? Come to find out the friend that drove had gotten into a fight. So we made our way out of the coat check and I, we had our coats. Yeah, we had gotten our coats. Thank God, because of what happened. We had gotten our coats and I, we, we weren't able to get their coat because you know how they give you a tag. So we didn't have their coats. We had our two coats. Thank the Lord. Okay. And we hear this yelling, this ruckus, all of this. And we see one of the friends, the one that drove, getting carried out by a bouncer. And we're like, yo, what the heck? But at that point, it was more like, what the? What, like, what is going on? Like, what is, what is, what is this, right? Like, what is this? And we're obviously on red alert because we're just like, yo, you know, stuff goes down in the club. You don't know what's going on. You don't know if someone has a gun, someone has a knife, someone has a what, you know? We're like trying to figure out what is going on. And I'm defaulting to my girlfriend because I'm like, this is your girl. Like, what is going on? Like, it was just, it was kind of scary. The, it, like, the area we were standing in outside near cold check was packed. And I'm a very hyper aware person, hypersensitive person. And we've talked about this in my vlog before. It doesn't allow me to really relax much because I'm very hyper vigilant. Okay, that's what I am, hyper vigilant. So I'm very like, yo, looking around like, okay, what is about to go down right now? Like you about to get stabbed up? W what is going on? And she's getting carried out. The other friend is around, so like she's just like in the midst, but I can't remember what she was doing, right? And this is my girlfriend. We're just like, yo, what the heck? What, what's going on? And come to find out she had gotten into a fight. So we're like, what? What in the world? Let's go. Now, of course, that was our natural reaction because out of me and my girlfriend, she's not a fighter, like a physical fighter. I am, but I'm not about to get into a fight for someone I don't really know like that, number one. If it was my girlfriend, that's a different story. But someone I don't really know, number one. And then number two, it was such a crowded scenario that I just wanted to get out and get some space between me and all of us and the whole crowd. I just took more foundation. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> for what reason I'm talking and not paying attention. So, you know, we make our way down the stairs outside and mind you at this point, we have our jackets on, the club is 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 dispersing, people are dispersing. These two don't have their jacket on. So we're outside, we're standing next to the door and the, the friend that got into the beef was, now when I look back, she must have been having some sort of psychotic break. I mean, at that point, I wouldn't have had the language nor the, the knowledge of what was taking place, but it was very, very bad, right? It was very, very bad. I mean, she was losing it, yelling and screaming and her dress was coming up and we're trying to get her like, yo, let's go, let's go. Again, I wasn't doing so much of that because it wasn't my friend. You know, I understand being in this manic state, if you will, and just barely even being able to hear what anyone is saying, let alone someone that you really don't know like that. So I was more so like support system, but I was just like, yo, what in the world we need to go? So it was my, it was my, my girlfriend who was like with the other girl, like, yo, let's go, we need to go, let's go, let's go. And the girl that had gotten to the fight. I'm not sure if she had gotten beat up. I'm not sure if she had not gotten enough hits in. I don't know what it was, but she was livid, okay? To say the least. And here she is. This is Makeup Have HD. The color is 50. She was livid and she's yelling. The bouncers are like grabbing. You know, you can imagine how it be up, how it be in a club when someone is angry, they're picking you up and you're kicking your legs and all this stuff. And we're just like, yo, we need to bounce now. Because my thing and our thing was, was, first of all, we don't even know what happened. Was it your fault? Cause you could be in a fight, angry, wailing and all of this. And it really could have been you who started it. Like, and I have another story for that too. Like I had a friend who started it and I was just like, you better calm down because I'm not here to do all this. Like that's a whole different story. It's a whole different story, okay? But it was like, we don't even know what happened. First of all, second of all, we don't even know who the women or the woman is, but she, whoever, people don't go by themselves at a club. So, you know, she gotta have a crew. We don't know who it is. So you're wilding out and it's just like, yo, can you calm down and tell us what happened and tell us who it is when they walk out so we can keep our eyes peeled? Because the last thing I need is to be collateral damage because you over here rumbling and tumbling with some random people in a club. Like, I mean, I've had my share of club fights. <laughs> 
like one or two. <laughs> but I mean, this one wasn't mine. So I just, it was a very troubling situation to say the least, okay? I'm gonna link the sponge below if you want it. I just could not stand it. So, you know, she won out, won out, won out, won out. And I don't remember if we ever even got to see who she was fighting with. But then in her manic state, like just yelling, angry, swearing, all this stuff, she's like, hey, you guys didn't even effing help me. And all of this. And me and my friend are just like, yo, we were at the coat check. Like, can you fall back? What are you talking about? And who was it? And what happened? She was losing it. Like, I can't even explain. It was so bad. And she was inconsolable. Inconsolable. Okay? Inconsolable. And so it was raining. It was also raining. Oh my God. Yes. It was cold and it was raining because at one point, one of the bouncers, yup, had given me an umbrella and I literally still had that umbrella up until before I moved to Houston. It was just in my car, like a random umbrella. He had given me an umbrella, girl, because it had started to rain. Mind you, she drove. The one who had gotten into the fight and was angry, losing her mind, had driven us. Let me lower down these lights. She had been the one to drive, okay? So we uh, had, and you know how in, in, if there's a building there's a little entryway, but it's it's hooded or covered. So we were standing in that little entryway, cold, with our freakum dresses on one, and we had the umbrella for whenever we had to step out and like try to get her to come with us or something, like calm down. She's losing it, losing it, losing it. Muscles like you guys gotta go. All of this, we're like we're trying to go, but she won't. You know, what I'm saying whatever. Now she had her keys, she had her purse, and she refused to give us the key and to get in the car, like to leave. So uh. Uh, unless you wanted to wrestle on the ground with her in her manic state, there was no way on God's green earth that we were gonna get the key from her. And so at one point, I remember she, did we pull the car? So she had given the key, uh, it's like all come back to me, okay? I'm like getting worked up because it gets it gets like more. So she had given the key to the other friend. Mind you, remember it's me, my girlfriend that I know where we grew up together. And then it's this friend, the driver, the gun to the fight, and then another friend and their cousin. So she had given the cousin her key and her cousin Cousin, we had we have walked yes we have walked to get the key, the car for the parking lot and we were like mortified talking about like yo what the heck what did she want us to do we weren't even next to her when it happened and, the, and then the cousin is like yo uh you know what I'm saying I was with her and I was trying to get her to calm down and I don't know what happened over there and trying to she was telling us like what actually went down I think it was like a just a mistake like you know I don't know somebody spilled a sign on you something crazy and that's part of the reason why I just cannot stand the club like I'm over I'm too over that like I don't do those things you know what I'm saying so we make it around to the front of the club. And by this time, a lot of people have already gone and I don't know, there may or may not have been a bounce of outside. I don't know, but by this time, like it was already a done deal. The club was over, okay? And we pull up on the sidewalk and we're like, yo, get in the car. My man is still on the car anymore. We were like, excuse me? What do you mean you're not gonna get in the car? Get in the car now, we are leaving. Mind you, we are in Boston and we live in Rhode Island. That is what, 35 minutes away? We need to go, okay? At this point, it's like two in the morning or whatever time. Yeah, cause the club had ended, so it ends at two. Or was it one? One of those. And and we are one of the last people on this street in front of this club. It's raining and it's cold. We're like, yo, get in a, get in a car. Get in a car. She was still angry. She had not calmed down. She was in a very, again, now when I look bad at it, bad, bad at it. Now when I look back at it, maybe in some sort of psychotic state, I mean, I just, I don't even know because she could not calm herself down and we could not calm her down. And we did not know what to do except continue to like try to talk to her. She was crying. She was angry. She was yelling. Tell her her lungs, like, this is the city of Boston, y'all. So I'm in a car and we're taking turns like getting out, trying to get her in and then coming and sitting back down. Now mind you, I didn't know her like that. So I wasn't saying much. I was just more so to my friend like, yo, uh, is this a joke? And like, it felt like a joke. Like I was just like, God, I was just, I should never came. I should never came. I should drive my own car. Like this is ridiculous. What is she doing? I don't know her like that, like that. So I really, again, like I said, wasn't saying much. It was more so them. They tried to call some family back in Rhode Island to talk to her. She didn't want to get on the phone. She didn't want to hear what anyone had to say. She was yelling, swearing, just like losing it, yo. This was hours. This had to be like two hours. Like it had to be like four in the morning by the time we were like, we can't do this. Is she gonna get in a car and take us home or what? Like we're sitting there like, you won't just leave us here and like you want to stand outside the door and be psychotic. You're not gonna get in this car. We're gonna leave you. We can't leave.
leave you here because mind you the cousin had gotten a key we were in the car and we're like we can't just leave you here and the street you need to get in the car we need to go she said no so at some point there was like a little bit of a tussle something where she ended up getting the key oh my god it's so she ended up getting the key, right? She turned the car off and she was like, something to the effect of, you ain't taking my car, you m ain't going home, you didn't even help me, you all this. She was like, yo, hey, Jesu. Mm. Go to Messi. She said, you ain't taking my car, I'm not taking you home, y'all better find your own way. In Boston, 35 minutes from home, at about four in the morning by this point, cause the club ended at two. Oh, go to Messi. I mean, it was quite an experience to say the least. And I'm saying to my friend like, yo, is she serious? Like, is she dead serious? Is she really gonna do this to us right now? Is she really not gonna, cause again, I don't know her like that. Is she really gonna do this to us? Is she? really not gonna get in the car? Is she really this angry, crying, standing out? She was soaking wet, okay? Soaking wet. We're like, yo, is she really gonna do? My friend was horrified. We're like, yo, we need to go. Now, I don't even feel like I had that much money on me. Again, lesson learned. Take a credit card if you have one, get some extra cash, do something because hello, and at this time we didn't have cash app and whatever. I mean, I don't remember having that much money on me, but I did, I did have my debit card. And I guess I didn't have a credit card that time. I don't know. So we're like, oh my God, we need to, like, we're like, okay, a cab ride home just ain't gonna work out at this time of the night. That's scary. She tried to call somebody, that didn't work out. So my friend tried to call somebody to come get us. That didn't work out. I forget what it was. The person was like asleep or didn't answer or couldn't cause something. And the only person I could think of to call was my mom. But mind you, it was raining and it was the middle of the night. So the last thing I wanted to do was to worry her and have her speeding to come get us in the rain, 35 minutes away. Like it just, it just, I was like, I cannot do this to her. And I think I called my sister, but she didn't answer the phone. Maybe she was asleep, something. And I'm like, oh my God, we are literally stranded in Boston all because this girl has had some sort of breakdown and she cannot control herself to calm down even hours after the situation to get in the car and take us home so we're freezing in the car and we're like, yo, there's no way we can sit here and deal with this. We don't know how much longer it's gonna be. And it seemed like she was more angry at me and my friend than her cousin that was with her when the fight happened. So I'm just like, uh, we need to go. So we get out of the car in our high heels, in our short dresses, and we had that one umbrella. Thank God the bouncer had given me an umbrella, like I said, right? And we start walking arm to arm through the streets of Boston, girl. Like this, oh my God, like when I think about it, wow. Like anything could happen to us. Anything could happen to us. So here we are walking, right? And we're like, okay, we had gotten to the main street and we saw that there was an ATM. And I'm like, boom, let's go to the ATM and get some money. And I think I didn't really have money at that. Well, I know I didn't have money at the time. Like I didn't have a lot of money at all in general, but I don't know if I like didn't have enough of my account, something. And I don't know if she had her card or like, I can't remember, but we, was the ATM closed? I think the ATM was closed. Something, because we had gone there and we're like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? So we had, I think we had Googled it or something. We're like, okay, there's a train station down the road. The bouncer might've told us at some point when he realized that this lady was having some kind of a break and she wasn't gonna budge, he might've said something like, there's a train station down the street. And we're just like, what? I've never taken a train before in my life. I'm not gonna get on a train in Boston and like at this time of night, you know, at this hour of the night. Hold on, I have the Sephora Micro Smooth Powders that I did wanna talk about in this video. I never even mentioned in the beginning, excuse me. Okay, so Sephora, this is new to me. Now this may have been out for a while. I just have not, I did not know until recently. So I wanna call these new. They, I wanna say the Sephora has new shades for the Micro Smooth Powders. So I grabbed 75 Hazelnut and 85 Espresso, which are pretty deep compared to what I had been using and I haven't touched in a while, but what I have already, which is deep. This is the color deep, okay? Do you see the difference? Big difference, okay? Now, this I've been able to make work because it is a light finish type of powder, but I haven't used it in a while because I'm obviously much, 
much darker than this powder will allow. They got these two dark ones. I'm gonna start off with this, and, but this is looking a little red. But yeah, so, uh, okay. So we had, you know, there were cabs going by and we're like, yo, let's just hail a cab and then go straight, cause it was a straight shot down to the train station. We were shook, like scared. Like what is gonna happen to us? Is a cab driver gonna be a murderer? We don't know what's going on. And we're just like, yo, praying like, Lord Jesus, please help us like get us to the train station so we can find a train and see what time the train even comes first of all to get home because no we, we just could not find this is pretty neutral let me use this one <clears throat> i don't want to be too bland looking so we're like let's just you know hop in a hop in a hop in a cab baby so hold on let's see how this looks I need to exfoliate. Ugh, I have some dry skin right here. Dead skin, excuse me, right there. I need to exfoliate, so ignore that. But I'm liking how this is looking. Yeah, I need to exfoliate, I need to shave. I'm seeing texture right there, annoying. What's that? What is, oh yeah. Today's 26, so I'm due for my shave. But this looks really good. I am happy. I'm glad I got this. I will try this on a day where my foundation is too light. You know how I do it. When my foundation is too light, I'll use this since this is darker, 85 Espresso. But I've always liked Micro Smooth. I'm so glad that they have darker colors now. So I love this 75 Hazelnut. Make sure you grab it. If you've used it, let me know. I just did not know that they had extra shades. That's a good thing. Yo, right? Okay, so we go to the train station, right? And we don't even know how to use a train station we've never taken a train before so where do you go what do you do how does it work when is it coming now i i grew up taking buses okay i had a bus pass the government the uh, what's it called a free bus pass to, to take bus so i used to be on a bus all the time okay i had multiple copies of the bus schedule i knew how to get around on the bus okay the transfers the this the that i knew how to navigate the bus even that late hours which honest to god it was only the lord that kept me my lord i mean the bus the bus stations i used to be in at night my Lord, I mean, Jesus, lamb. Only God, because that's dangerous, okay? But anyway, so here we are, right? Mind you, very important, we have on freaking dresses in the middle of the night in a train station in Boston looking crazy. Okay, you're looking at us like, where are you and where are you going? Are you a lady of the night? Like, what is happening here, right? And we are not. We're just we're just stranded. We're bewildered, and we need to get home. So we make our way upstairs to the train station. It's kind of deserted, but there's some people in there, right? And we're just like trying to go to this um, guest services line to figure out, yo, we need a train to go to Rhode Island. What time is it gonna come? What's the deal? Everyone is staring at us. The people that were there, again, not a lot. You got some homeless folks up in there you have some sketchy people up in there you have some workers and it was like excuse me where is the next station the train next station going to providence because the providence is the capital and we're like let's just go to the capital downtown and then we can figure it out the capital what do you call it capital the city whatever okay <laughs> we needed to go downtown and we go to this check-in line or whatever it's called the lady mind you at this time i think it might have been like six something in the morning right and the lady's like she said something crazy it was like the next uh not bus the next train ain't gonna be until like eight eight nine like nine a.m or something crazy right and we were like like it wasn't it was gonna be like hours after the time that we had right then jesus now, I just thank God that our phones lasted because we both had a phone and we, like, our phones were working. Thank God, right? So, we were just like, excuse me? What do you mean? That's the next bus? I mean, um, train? <sighs> So we were wandering aimlessly around this train station to find somewhere to sit down, but somewhere away from people so that like people wouldn't ask us questions because it was just so questionable to be in a train station in the middle of the night looking how we looked. Now it was just the funniest thing because my friend's outfit wasn't so like freakum dressy. Mine was, so I felt the most uncomfortable. Thank God we had a jacket of some sort, but it was like a short, you know, and I had a high heels, these boots, it was tacky too, but you you know, back in the day, I was doing something. You know, see, I was doing something, but it was so uncomfortable. And here we are, we found, we had finally found somewhere to sit, still calling whomever we could. And I just refused to call my mom. I knew she would lose it and I just did not want to worry her. I just could not do it. And I had no one else to call, nobody else, you know, my sister wasn't answering the phone, she was asleep. And we sat there and it was so crazy because at some point McDonald's had opened up. So we had going to McDonald's, girl, we didn't, we hadn't brushed our teeth, nothing. By this time, I think it was like seven in the morning or whatever it was. 
was. McDonald's had opened. The bus must the bus must have come at like 8:30. Something crazy. McDonald's had opened up, honey. We went and got McDonald's breakfast, and we just couldn't help but laugh. We had gone from laughing, crying, laughing, crying, shock, complete shock, because we're just like, yo, I can't believe that she got so upset that she refused to take us home. Like, how does that work? You're mad that we didn't help you in this fight that we knew nothing of because we weren't even next to you. You're so livid that you refused to get in the car. Then when you got in the car, you took the key and refused to take us home. And at some point while we're in the in the bus, what, what? I keep saying bus, in the train terminal, she had contacted the cousin and was like, yo, y'all still there? And it was still there, still there, still there. And at some point she had agreed to go home. So they had gone home. You gonna come get us? No, you know? So it was just like, wow. Her issue was with us. Her issue was with us, okay? So we had our breakfast. We get, yo, when we, so like as time was going on, more and more people kept coming to the train station. So it was like, oh my God, mind you, this is a Sunday morning? Or was it, a, I don't even know what it was. And I, people kept kept staring at us this one time, not this one time, this one guy had approached us asking us questions and we made up some kind of story. And he was like, do you need a ride? And we're like, no, thank you. We don't know if you're gonna take us somewhere, kill us, cut us up, chop us up. We don't know what is going on. No, sir, we do not need a ride. Thank you very much. We'll wait for the train. We're like what? No, absolutely not. Oh my God, right? And so the train comes, when we boarded the train, people were staring at us, like staring at us. We looked a mess. Like we looked like night workers. Workers. Ooh, and not janitorial services, like not, not the custodians. I mean, we just, it, it, it looks really bad to me, okay? It was, it was a problem. So when we were on the train, it, by that, by this time it was daylight, okay? It was daylight. And I called my mom and she answered the phone. It's like, where are you? I'm like, well, it's a long story. I need you to come get me and my, and I said my friend's name from the Providence train station. I'll explain to you when you come. And she's like, okay, I'm coming, I'm, you know, I'll be there right now. She seemed pretty calm, but she was just like, where have you been? I'm like, we've been in Boston, like it's a long story. Oh my God. So she comes and gets us, right? <laughs> We got off the train station down downtown. No, was it a train station? Was a bus station? Why am I so confused now? <laughs> so when we had gotten downtown and got off of the, oh my god, I keep saying train station this whole time. It was a bus. It was a bus. <laughs> It was a bus. You know, it's just been a, it was a painful memory that I casted out of my mind, but I'm now reminded that it was a bus. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Three Intense because I remember getting off of the bus <laughs> And people in downtown Providence were also staring at us like, wow, who are these two hookers? You know, like what? You know, they look like whores. I mean, it's just it's just like questionable, you know? Like, where are you going at this day and hour? On this day at this hour, dressed how you're dressed. You look run down, it's like so bad. And it was so embarrassing. So we got in the car and we're like, oh my God, Ma, you have no idea what kind of night we just had. Like you have no idea. So on the ride home, she brings my, my friend home. On the ride home, we're telling her the whole story. She's just like horrified, shocked, concerned, couldn't believe that we didn't call her. And I'm like, mom, the last thing I wanna do is worry you. Like she gonna come speeding in this rain? Like, no ma'am. I just could not imagine myself doing that. And you know, we made it home. So we made it home and my friend is just, she, no, she had come to my house first. She had come to my house first and then I took her home later. And we just could not stop talking about what had happened. Reflecting on what could have happened to us, gratefulness or gratitude for what didn't happen to us and what we were able to do, which was get home safely. But just also shock, shock about what happened, like how her friend could behave this way. And honestly, it was a, all, there was a huge lesson learned. Like what is this girl's problem? And what was she going through that made her respond to us that way? And why could she not find a way to come herself down to come back to her senses and take us home like we got in the in your car and entrusted you to take us to and fro safely and here you are acting like a psychopath and you won't even calm down and get back in a car like what kind of person are you it was so horrifying i mean it i it 
it and I could not, it, it was, it was impossible. It was a very impossible situation. Oh my gosh. So I filled in my brows with the Charlotte Tilbury brow cheat in the color natural black. And I need to fill in my lip, obviously. So let me do that right now. All right, this is a Huda Beauty cream lipstick in the color Buttercup. I have a different lipstick that I wanted to wear, not this one. <laughs> I can't find it. So here we have this one. This is very light. Mm -hmm. I do not like how it is so sheer right here. I do not like that. Either you're gonna cover or you're not, okay? Which one are you gonna do? <sighs> this lip is okay, it's okay, but it's not, it's not what I wanted <laughs> at all. I have a different one, it must be my purse. Okay, so let's see, where are we at with this story? This is a little bit, uh, a little bit all over the place. This is the NARS Amand Concealer. I I don't know where we are with the story, but it was quite, it was quite a situation. So at some point, not that day, but at some point, weeks later, or was it months later, I can't remember, she, the driver, who was upset, she did apologize to my friend. She never apologized to me, but I didn't need an apology from her, so I didn't care. I, she did apologize for losing it and not calming down and leaving us stranded and all this stuff, but it did take her time to do that. It was just like, yo, never a again. Never again, absolutely never again. And that is one of many wild and crazy things that I've experienced huh, in my younger days, but never again. Like what, first of all, what do I look like at my big age <laughs> being in the club? You know what I mean? Like I can't even do it. And secondly, not interested. And thirdly, whatever it is, I am taking my car. I am taking my own car. I'm not doing this foolishness. But thank God, you know, these days you have Uber. But can you imagine Ubering for, well, I've done it before. <laughs> Ubered for, it wasn't for anything. It, I wasn't in distress when I did it, but I have Ubered 35 minutes away before. I mean, whatever the cost is, thank God I have the money now. Like you ain't ever gonna catch me out here in these streets looking real stupid over someone I just cannot control their emotions. Like just a no, you know? Okay. Now, that is the end of the story. I want you to comment below and let me know uh, whatever you want to say about it. And then watch me finish this look off. It's really, it's really pretty simple. So let's see. This eyeliner that I'm gonna use right now is Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner. It is my absolute favorite black eyeliner in the whole world. Someone asked me to do a video on how to apply eyeliner and I'm thinking of doing one for a top and bottom eyeliner. Comment below and let me know if that is something that you would be interested in. Like, <laughs> to me it seems like something that is just so intuitive, but making no assumptions here on my channel because I'm here to teach you. So let me know if that is something you wanna see. All the different types of eyeliner for the top and then I'll, whoop, just poke my eye, bless his name. And then the bottom eyeliner, okay? Comment and let me know. This one is so good. I love an eyeliner that is a satin finish, not a matte one. I don't want my eyeliner to be matte on the bottom. I like it to be shiny, so it's vinyl. I love it, this is good. I have it in brown too. Ooh, it is so good. So good, so good. Now I'm gonna highlight the inner part of my eye. Did I have the, oh, no I don't have that. I'm gonna take this Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette and take the pink. I've been using that because it's it's pretty and it's also right here in front of me. I, I don't have another everyday palette next to me. So here, let me take the pink and go right here. Love to use the inner eye shimmer because that opens up the eye. Comment and let me know if you are putting a shimmery color on the inner part of your eye. And do you do it all the time? Do you do it for special occasions? What do you do? I like to switch up the color that I use in the inner part of the eye to go with the look. Like I've done a frosty lime green before 
before. I've done blue, I've done purple, I've done, obviously this is pink, but I've done more of like a pink that's more saturated with pink, not so light. But this one matches my lip. This is the color All Lux in this palette. This palette, by the way, is really nice. I used it in a testing new products video. So make sure you watch that video, okay, baby. But yes, I'm gonna put some more on this side. Do you see how this side has more? The inner eye versus the other one. So taking some, always tapping off the excess, going right in the corner of the eye. And then I like to put a lot. When you do your inner eye color, you might not take as much product as I just did, but I, I always do this. I like for it to just be spread wide, you know, spread low and wide so that it just really opens up my eye. Something's going on over here. It's probably that dry skin that's just messing me up. This is still a problem. Remember that area of the lip, that sheer? <sighs> I gotta fix this, hang on. All right, so I had to fix the lip, okay? And I left that in there because I want you to see how I fixed it, okay? I just need a little more pigment on the pink part. Ooh, shout out to my light pink nails. How cute. Press-ons, we'll link that below. I'll link this dress below too. Pretty little, is this? This is Shein, excuse me. Yeah, all right, so here's my basic makeup look. The lashes do take it up. These lashes are thick, thick, okay? These. <laughs> I feel good, okay? I hope that you laughed at least, or maybe you were horrified. I don't know. Comment below, let me know what you were feeling about my story time. I also want you to let me know what you think about this look. This is a look that is always a fan favorite. Y'all love this look. And I understand it is a natural look that really and truly can be done for any occasion. It is a step up from my natural face. Like it's a natural look. Like if you go to make a part you're like, I wanna look natural. This is like natural glam. Let me, let, me, let me be clear. This is natural glam because of the lash. But of course you can do this look without the lash if you wanna tone it down. But to me, tone down means no, I, I don't I don't understand that English I don't even know what that means you know I need the full glam I love the full glam all right so I'm glad you're here glad you watched the video make sure you subscribe thumbs up the video want to hear some more story times let me know because I have so many stories to tell it is like not even funny I filmed this one video I'm so annoyed let's just digress for a second I'm so irritated I you saw I discussed it I filmed this one story time it was an online dating horror story and then there was no sound I was horrified and I gotta be honest I've been discouraged ever since from filming it again because I, I how do you tell the story with so much passion and comedy all over again you know it's just oh, it just irritates me anyway <laughs> glad you're here I'll see you in the next video while you're here watch some more I always link them for you all right see you later bye